Hi DVC fan, Paul and Amy here. We are at the first Animal Kingdom Moonlight Magic tonight. This one is in February. Last year it was in July. What a difference. Yeah. If you want like a good time, go back and watch our 2023 Animal Kingdom Moonlight Magic. We were melting like the whole evening, left early, and it is already breezy. It is still a beautiful day though. Feels like, amazing out yes. here. So it's gonna be a wonderful evening. And we have a lot of friends joining us tonight. So we've got I'm not even going to try to name them all right now because there's so many people here tonight um, joining us for Moonlight Magic from the DVC fan community, people that you know from the DVC show, moderators from DVC fan, and so much more. So we're excited to just kind of explore and see where the evening takes us. Outside Restaurant Asaurus, we're going to get something to eat. And they do have the signs up again this year to show you all the things outside the restaurants that you can get with your snack vouchers. So there are some options here. So we're going to go in and get some food. So we've come into Restaurant Asaurus, is that what we're in? Restaurant Asaurus. Sure, okay. Panda's here, by the way. I don't I don't know what my wife has filmed at this point or not because I've been all over the place. But uh, we're tearing up some food. Some people have used some snack credits they were able to be used on like french fries or french fries and cheese um not chili cheese fries which is what panda got here chili cheese fries are the thing chili cheese fries you can't, use a coupon can't use a coupon for that but regular fries you can and look at this guy he is over here just tearing up some french fries not complaining. so not complaining at all mm -mm. enjoying them there's something about makes the fries taste better is when you have a safari amber to go with your french fries so i'm still not a huge fan of the french fries but the fact that I can get them for quote unquote free, they taste a lot better. How's your food, Amy? Do you think Jeff would notice if I dunked a french fry in his chocolate milkshake? Oh, next Let's Tuesday. try. Yeah, we do. Tuesday. Raglan Road. We didn't notice. I am the little angel that lives over his shoulder. <laughs> I am the devil that gets him to do bad things. We're in line for dinosaur at the moment. Uh, trip down the stairs. I will try not to trip down the stairs. Uh, Jeff is in front of me. Jeff's here too. I'm not sure if we Hey, what's up? Uh, Jeff, Jeff came up with a brilliant idea while we were in line for dinosaur in the pre-show because we were riveted by that, that we should make DVC fan fans. So um, uh, like, like this video if you think we should make fans or if you're like me and you think we're gonna have a thousand fans sitting at my house after we after we embark on this but uh oh we're getting on okay here we go okay i just wanted to say this really quickly some people know this some people don't but because mcdonald's used to sponsor guy the dinosaur ride the red and yellow i'm at the exit now so i can't get too close but the red and yellow and the white tubes like the piping that runs through the ride queue are the chemical compounds they have the chemical compounds on it for ketchup, mustard, and mayo. So I thought that was interesting. What? How was your dinosaur experience? It was good. It was good. Now we're looking at the photos because <laughs> I want to make sure I did the finger guns correctly. Okay, wait, no, but at the end of the ride, Derek goes, yay. And I thought his hands were going to hit the ceiling. And he's like, didn't you touch that too? He pulls <laughs> it down right away. You never get to ride back to back. So that was pretty awesome to be able to go back to back. As much as I didn't want to after having a beer and some cold, bad french fries, I said yes, we're as a team, let's do it two times in a row. <laughs> but Derek, Matt, is we went out from Restaurant Asaurus to ride Dinosaur, and it said it was only a five minute wait. It was around six o'clock, and we rode it. There weren't very many people around, and we took up an entire car, and when we got back to the exit, they said, do you just want to stay on? So. It's not that I particularly love Dinosaur. It's a good ride, but we've never been asked to stay on a ride before if we wanted to stay on, so we had to say yes, right? Are you gonna play some dino games? We are gonna play some dino games. We just rode Dinosaur twice. It was one too many times for me, so. It was Paul. We had some photos of it though. We'll put them in now. One where, uh, one where we did nothing or did random stuff. And then the other where everyone did finger guns, but I passed out, so. 
There you go. Yeah, I know. Oh, Good yeah. times. All right, what are we getting ready to ride? We are going to go ride Dumbo. Triceratops Spin. Dumbo. Dino Dumbo, as it were. <laughs> never been on this. I haven't either. I lied to everybody. I thought Astro Orbiter was the only ride I've never ridden. I don't think I've done this one. All right. I think it's because of Dumbo I said I've done it, but I haven't. Right. All right, so we got two new Dino Dumbo riders. Have you ever ridden Dino Dumbo before? I have. I have. My kids like it. It always makes me dizzy, though, which is weird, because I could ride Cosmic Rewind, Everest, no problem, but this makes me nauseous and dizzy. <laughs> Good to know. I'll ride in front of you. <laughs> I don't think I'll have any problem. <laughs> well, we'll check back in after the ride. <laughs> I just have to show you Panda's, the back of his, it's like a jersey that says Hatbox Ghost on it, so that's pretty cool. So I didn't know that this ride, unlike Dumbo, and maybe Dumbo does, has two controls. So I can control it, and Panda can. Ice cream sandwiches instead of ice cream bars. I feel like I hit the jackpot. Right? That almost never happened. I know. This is the best. We stopped at Dino Land, but the, the line for the games was a little crazy. So we are heading over to the mountain that is behind Ever to Everest. It is very pretty at night at Animal Kingdom. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, I thought I was recording earlier and I wasn't. So who knows what footage is on there. You can take a beer through the line as long as you finish it. <laughs> as long as you say you're Derek. That's all that it takes. <laughs> you have to finish it before you get on the ride. So that is the rule. Yes. So they don't make you chug it outside. You can take it all the way through, which is good. I love all the Mount Everest hiking paraphernalia. It's so cool. What are we about to do? Expedition <laughs> Everest. <laughs> how come we didn't how come we didn't do any of the dino games? The lines, right? The line the last time we checked it stretches all the way till Thursday. So it was about forty eight hours long. And we said for a little squirting game, it's not worth it. So we're gonna come and ride Everest. Better use of our time. Yes. My wife is outside with Panda. Panda said he didn't want to go backwards, so he, he's taking one for the team. I, I can't. DVC <laughs> Dan here. Leave off. Tell, tell people what you really think. Um, we are uh, in line for uh, Expedition Everest, which I, it's my favorite roller coaster at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell us your So, anybody fact. knows me, I like the fun facts, the trivia. Did everybody know that Expedition Everest is actually a hidden Mickey? Here's the picture. Oh wait, I gotta zoom in. It's really hard to, oh my goodness, it is! Look at that! There and there. I didn't know that. There you go. <laughs> fun facts with Jeff. But does anyone know, a fun fact is the ride is currently broke. <laughs> so right now we're gonna be here for a while and just staring at that picture of the hidden Mickey from the sky. <laughs> Last time we rode Everest yeah. in Millie Magic, it also broke down. <laughs> so. I don't know if it just doesn't operate very well in the evening or what, but unfortunately, I really want to ride it, so I think we're going to wait a little bit longer and see what happens. all the way from here. <laughs> so over here where they normally have the bird show during Moonlight Magic is a character meet and greet. 
Uh, they had Goofy, Mickey, I think Pluto, uh, but the ones that were most notable were Bianca and I, so sorry, I can't remember the other name, but the mice from the rescuers and the rescuers down under. Uh, but the wait time is 30 to 35 to 45 minutes, so it's a little bit long for a Moonlight Magic event, but very rare character. So if you want to do that, I have to say, I said this already, but this park is beautiful at night, all the lighting. They really don't keep this park open long enough for regular guests. It is so pretty at night. Over at one of the snack carts here by the bird show, they have a berry freeze, this strawberry puree that you can use when your snack coupon's on. It is non-alcoholic and I'm excited because I'm thirsty. That is a good use of a snack coupon. It is huge, isn't it? They loaded that up. It's hard. To, I'm. It's kind of blurry, but I mean, in a dream, that looks good. Oh my god! We've made our way over to Pandora, and we just got in line for Flight of Passage. Uh, claimed wait is 45 minutes, so we'll see if that is true. It was 30 minutes when we originally walked over here, so hopefully wait times are still a little bit lower. And that is one of the big perks of Moonlight Magic is that you're not going to be waiting nearly as long as you would for these rides during the daytime hours. We are, it is like 8 o'clock, so we're about an hour into the event. So at this point, you know, all of the day guests have kind of filtered out and uh, yeah. I did spend all of my snack coupons in one location. Uh, ended up getting popcorn, a bottle of water, and some um, sugar spiced pecans, which sounded really good. And then Amy ate all of them. So, but uh, at least I used all the all the coupons. I feel like that's like I, I feel like that's always a struggle for me. Like I, I'm always at the end of the night, like. Uh, I need another bottle of water or another Powerade or something like that, but yeah, so that's where we're at and everyone's behind me here and I'm just kind of by myself and we're headed up to ride Flight of Passage. Oh. We are waiting for Pandora. I don't know how long it said. It said 45 minutes, but I feel like I know I think it's been like maybe 20. Remember 20. Yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm trying to remember if I should be scared about mounting this seat. I don't remember because I'm seven foot nine, so I don't remember if I fit on this banshee. So we'll see. You haven't ridden Flight of Passage in a long time. What did you think? <laughs> it was amazing. It was so good. I forget how amazing it's been like literally like probably four years since the last time I drove it. I drove it. I drove a banshee. I'm literally the size of a avatar. It was so good. It's everything Disney does perfect and you can't beat it because the wait time was maybe 30 minutes tops at night so it was chef's kiss perfect jeff and amy what'd you guys get over there uh got rum blossoms from the pongu pongu which is slushy fish eggs and rum um, fish and eggs and their bobo ball but then they do a nice rum floater on the top i know this is very nice I love the ground of Pandora at night. BBC Dan beating on the drum. You're very welcome. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so pretty. Jester and Esther.
Hey everybody, we're wrapping up our night here at Moonlight Magic at Animal Kingdom. Derek's first one ever. What'd you think, Derek? It's my first one ever. I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. And I think it was the perfect amount of attractions to be open in this park because you never get to see this park at night. Yeah. I think that's what makes this so special is because it usually closes like at six. So you get to be here at night. Yeah. I think the and longest- the tree looked really cool. Oh, the tree looked great. And I think the longest we waited for Flight of Passage was maybe like a little bit less than 30 minutes yeah. or so, so it was awesome. It's also the people that we were with that made this great. Yeah, we had a good group tonight for sure. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, and, we had a good time. And what did the you amount think? of people that talked to me about Derek while he was on the ride was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, this was really, really pleasant, nice. And it's, uh, you ended it with a rum drink with boba balls that are still popping in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a great night. Thanks for following along. Thanks to everybody who came up and said hello. We love that. Yes. If you like our content, don't forget to like, subscribe. I know there's people out there that aren't doing that. You never know. You never get notified of our awesomeness. So, uh, <laughs> so but thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. See you real soon. Yeah. One thing I'm going to add to this video, we have never gone this way when leaving if you go straight through the rock instead of around there is a bridge but don't run into the pool that i just ran into i never knew this was here this is kind of terrifying and it's shaking in all of our visits we never knew that this was here literally been coming here the year this place opened and i never knew that there was a bridge a shaky one at that with zero wait time I have to add that this is why Moonlight Magic snack vouchers are much more valuable at Epcot than Animal Kingdom. There's just not a lot of options. This is a trash can and people have literally just left their snack coupons. Now, if you really wanted to stock up, you could take these and go and get, you know, like 20 Powerades and take them home. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know what you would do with them. We're going to no. leave them here. We actually put some here to go with it in case somebody is really thirsty tonight. I know. No, I'm good. I got my Powerades in my backpack already. <laughs>